The 2023-2024 Big 12 Women's Basketball Preseason Poll has been released. And it goes as follows. Number one is Texas with 12 first place votes, 168 points overall. Number two is Baylor with two first place first votes and 148 votes overall. I mean, points overall. Number three is Kansas, 138 points. Number four is Kansas State, 133 points. Number five is Oklahoma with 121 points. Iowa State with 107 points. Oklahoma State with 99 points. West Virginia with 80, 80 points. TCU number nine with 77 seven points. Number 10 is Texas Tech with 63 points. 11 is BYU with 56 points. Houston number 12, 45 points. Number 13, Cincinnati with 22 points. And number 14 is UCF with 18 points. And I do agree with most of the poll here. I do. The top two is the top two. I mean, there's no question those two teams are the head and shoulders to me above. But don't get me wrong about Kansas. They, they're going to be a tough out for anybody in this conference. And even Kansas State. Because Aoka Lee missed all of last year due to injury. So... I expect them to be better, and I kind of had that hunch they're going to be above Oklahoma and Iowa State because they both both of those teams lost a few starters, and Iowa State lost a lot of production from a year ago, not just the graduation, but the transfer portal. And I know Oklahoma added a few transfers, but they also lost three starters. And obviously, Oklahoma State lost some players to graduation and the transfer portal as well. And West Virginia now has another a new head coach. And hopefully after this year, West Virginia doesn't have to get a new head coach again because you don't want to have a situation with three head coaches in three years. An interesting note that I put in a community post is former West Virginia women's basketball coach Mike Carey is now an assistant at UCF. So, And I kind of get where TCU is at because they, got, they added some good players, but some of those players, I don't know. They're okay. It's just, and they have a new head coach in Texas Tech. Makes sense where they're at, but they could be a little bit higher, maybe potentially like eighth or seventh. But that's just the potential. And the bottom four are no question. I think that makes a lot of sense. And it's a transition year for all those schools because BYU has got the second year head coach and. The West Coast Conference is totally different than the Big 12. It's a higher level of competition. And obviously the American is not as good as the Big 12. At the end of the day, I have no clue how many NCAA tournament teams are going to be. I definitely know at least two in Texas and Baylor. I think Kansas finally gets back. They were WNIT champs last year. So I think they could very well find a way to make the NCAA tournament this year, and they probably would have made it last year if they didn't lose in the, in the Big 12 tournament to TCU, which it was a bad loss. And I thought maybe they had, a, had enough to get in, but clearly that was not a, a good loss right there. And it's going to be interesting as well because this is last year with Texas and Oklahoma in the conference. Then you have to add Utah, Arizona, Arizona State, and Colorado to the Big 12. Yeah, and, and I really do agree with the poll for the most part. Maybe you could see some teams higher, like Baylor would be the number one, but that's only one spot. And they have a, I know they lost two starters, but they also gained a lot of transfers and a quality ones at that, and a six foot seven inch freshman. And Texas returns a lot of production from a year ago, so, but they can't shoot threes. Let's just be clear. It's not their strength. Like I said, it's just for, I think Kansas State gets back to the NCAA tournament as well. So that's four teams right there. Oklahoma, that, I think they might get in. Iowa State, I have no clue. I mean, in Oklahoma State, maybe they get back in. West Virginia is a maybe. So potentially up to eight teams, but I would have to think at least three to four teams for sure. It's just, I don't know. And it's just not as good as the men's side, if I'm being completely honest. 
it's not as good as like top to bottom as the men. I'm just being honest, but no game is a given for in for any of these teams, and you can't overlook them. And that sounds crazy to talk about the preseason polls in basketball. I know. But the season's going to start November 2nd, and they're already having they are like having the second full week of practices as well. So, and you have 30 practice days out of 42. I mean, it's going to be interesting, like I said, with the Texas and Oklahoma leaving the pit conference to the SEC in a year from now. And then add all these new schools for this year, then imagine the following year as well. Anyways, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe and see you guys later on the road to 600 subscribers. Of course, the ultimate goal is to get a thousand and like the video, comment on the video, like to have interaction because it really does help the YouTube algorithm so more people can watch it. And hit the notification bell as well, not just subscribe, but hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of these videos here.